Hey guys, it's Saleh. Today I released version 1.2 of Jesse, which has huge improvements and bug fixes. And you can read about that in the blog post that I published about this release, and I'm going to link to it down in the description. But in this video, I want to show you the highlight of this release, which is probably the most requested feature from the community, and I couldn't be more proud of it. In fact, it's going to change how you do research with Jesse for your strategies forever. So let's get right into it. So to demonstrate how this new feature, which is about charts, works, I'm going to copy one strategy from our strategies listing page. Let's get the code. Let's go to the strategies page, create a new one, and let's call it chart demo. And I'm going to paste it here. All right, so let's go to back this and first make sure the interactive charts option is disabled. I'm going to change the beginning to 2024 and lower the ending up until the third month. And actually, I forgot the time frame, so let's check it out again. It's the four hours. Okay, so the four hours is fine. And we named it chart demo. The fast mode is on. All right, so let's run it. Now we're getting this error, which is actually an error I've seen so many beginners get, which is cause when you forget to change the name of the strategy, you just copied to be the same as you entered before. So let me show you what I mean. So the name of it is chart demo, but if I go to the source code, it says trend swing trader, but in here is chart demo. So let's change this to be chart demo. Go to the back test and run it again, and this time it should go through. All right, so these are the results that we're getting. They are fine and decent, but we weren't really getting any charts for it, right? So what if I wanted to make sure that the indicators are working the way we expected them, right? Now, we had this feature where you could export some settings and import it into trading view and check it there, but it wasn't perfect, not at all. But now, I can go to the source code for this strategy. So let me open my ID. I'm gonna open chart demo. And these are the indicators we're using. The ADX, the trend, which is using three moving averages. And that's it. Now, the cool thing about this new chart feature is that you can use them anywhere in your strategy. But it's probably the best to do it inside either the before or the after method of your strategy. So I'm gonna define an after method Actually, let's run it first with the interactive chart option enabled. All right, so this time, if I click on view chart, you can see we have an interactive chart, which I can zoom in or zoom out, and it will tell me the buy and sell points of this strategy. So this is pretty useful, right? But as I said, what if what if we want to know the exact indicator values that like what was the EMA when we bought? What was it when we sold? Stuff like that. So let's go back to the IDE and I'm going to define a new method called after. Now you can use these new methods that I'm going to show you anywhere in your strategy, but it would be much more useful to do it inside either the after or the before methods of your strategy. And I'm going to use the after one. So I'm going to say add line to candle chart. And the first value is the title. And I need this to be the, mo the moving average. So I'm going to copy these, paste them here. So this is going to be the E1. And the value of it will be even. And the color option is optional. So I'm going to let it be empty, but you can specify a color if you want it. And if you did, the syntax would be like this, right? So actually for the first one, let's do use it like this. For the second one, we're going to do E2 and a third one for E3. All right. So let's go back, close this rerun it. Now, if I go back here, you can see not only we have the candles, we also have the EMA values. All right, it's 
really beautiful and super helpful. So we can see that, yes, when the EMAs were the other way around, we started taking a short position. The other way around, we took a long position and so on. We're also able to add horizontal lights. Now, an example of when you would use a horizontal line in this chart would be to specify, let's say, resistance and support lines. Maybe that, especially for a mean reversion or a greedy strategy. But for this one, let's just assume that this line here is a support line. And we need to plot it for whatever reason. So you see the price at this point was 42,500. So let's go back to the code. So I can say add horizontal line to candle chart. The first value would be title. So I'm going to say support. The value would be again 42,500. And as for color, I can say, let's say green. Now we also have other options such as the line width. We can set it to two for a thicker line. And we also have the line style, which would accept either solid or I think dotted. Yes, dotted. All right. But I'm going to leave it. Now, if I go back and run it again. By the way, the really cool thing about this whole thing is that we, we didn't specify the date. So you just specify the value that you want to display. The date will be handled for you automatically behind the scenes, which is really cool. All right, so let's go back and check out the chart. And as you can see, we now have a support line. All right, and there's no limit. You can plot as many as you like. Now, let's go to the strategy again. This time, I want to plot the ADX value, but there's an issue with that because the value for the ADX is between one and 100, right? But the price range for what we are displaying here is BTC and it's around 55,000. So if I plot the values for ADX, like what, like we did for the moving average, it's not going to be pretty. So let's say add line to candle chart and this time say ADX and give it the values. All right. So let's see how this would look like. And as you see, the values of the ADX are barely visible, right? It looks like a horizontal line, but that's not really true. It's, again, it's because they're not in the same range. So it doesn't work. So instead of add line to candle chart, I can say add line to extra chart. Now, this function will take one other parameter, which is the first one, and it is called the chart name. So I'm going to give it the name ADX also. And then the other one is the title. Now, why do we have both of these? Because you can have one chart with multiple lines on it. And if you want to do that, I would have to define another one, leave the chart name to ADX, but I could call this one something else. So for example, so this is with the default period number, which is 14, right? So I could define another one and give it the period of 21. And here I can give them the names so we can distinguish them later. But again, the chart name has to be the same for them to be displayed on the same chart. So now, actually, let's also change the color. Now, if we go back and rerun this. All right, so we're not seeing them here. All right, it's because I chose the wrong function name. It's not add horizontal line because we don't have a chart yet. So it needs to be add line, add extra line chart. So let's copy this, paste it here, go back and rerun it. All right, so now we have this ch other chart called ADX and we have two lines on it, the ADX 21 and ADX 14 with different periods. And there's no limit for how many charts we can use. And there's also no limit for how many lines you can plot on each chart. So for the ADX indicator, we typically want to display a threshold value and only take trades when the value goes above that, right? So we can easily do that. First, let's see what was our threshold. It was 25. 
So here I'm going to say self add horizontal line to extra chart. The first value has to be the name of the chart, which was ADX. And as for title, let's say threshold. The value is 25. The color is red. The line width is 2. All right. Let's go back, rerun it. And now we have that. So we can easily see, for example, why it didn't take any trades here. Why it didn't take trades, let's say, here, right? But here it did. All right, so this is a super powerful feature that I just added. It's not perfect. I still need to add it for our live trading feature. And we also need to add another table where you can go through your trades and let's say click on whichever that looks suspicious to you and immediately find it on the chart to see what was going on in that moment. But as it is, I find myself to use it all the time when I'm researching a strategy and I couldn't be more in love with it. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I did. And if you have any feedback, any improvements you think I should add to it, please let me know in the comment section or on our Discord server. Happy trading and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.